these awesome kids. We pray that everything would go well, that everything would be safe. We thank you for our country, we thank you for our city, and we pray that you would, uh, you would be glorified thing that is done and said here today, and we thank you in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, now we're going to welcome Mr. Lama's singing angels that will sing the national anthem. your first year to volunteer yes sir I do the I work here oh at, at the spaceport yes sir and uh, did you come from Mojave um actually I came from Pasadena that's where I'm really from uh -huh. so um, when I moved out here I got the job and started you know working around here uh -huh. it's cool how do you like it oh I really like it it's do the, you? the work is cool it's clean you know everybody's cool and um, I really enjoy it uh -huh. where do you live I live on K Street. Oh, here in Mojave. Yes, sir. So you don't have any uh, long commute or anything? Nope, nope. Thank uh -huh. God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thanks very much for the quote. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.
you think of the event today? It was really cool. Yeah. And fun. Uh huh. Did you help build the rocket? No, I, but I helped paint it. Oh, you helped paint it. I see. Good. And uh, all these other guys in your class. Uh, how do you think they liked it? Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Yeah. Would you would you come again if you had the chance? Yeah. Uh huh. Good. And and do you like math and science and stuff like that? Mm, not so much the math, but the science. Science, you do. Uh huh. Well, really good. Well, thank you. Been involved all nine years. It's great for the kids. They love it. Yeah, and what are you doing here? We have to repack these, get the chute back in here. Uh huh. For the second go around, we go twice, and then they're judged on both heights. Got to get it back together. Get uh -huh. it back out there so we can shoot it again. And uh, how many rockets we have? This uh... 26. 26 rockets. Yep. From all over the valley. All over the valley. Here's the motor. Uh huh. Goes in the back. Shove it in the bottom there, and uh -huh. this one's ready to go again. Okay, and so all of the all the rockets essentially have an equal chance, right? They do. They all got the same motor. Uh huh. It's just how the kids built them. Uh huh. Some put less paint. Some put more paint. Some put glitter. I don't know what the secret is, but. Uh huh. But, well figured out by the end of the day. But paint weighs, and so the yeah, it does a little drag on there, but uh huh. They sure look pretty going up. You bet they do. And have you uh, done this job since it started? I have. Uh huh. So this is the ninth time you've been through this. Yeah. Uh huh. I get paid for what kids love to do, so I can't complain. <laughs> And you got a crew of volunteers here, I see. I do. Yeah. A lot of good workers here. Uh huh. These are the rockets. Uh, after they've been reloaded over here getting ready for the for the next round of launch they're all launched twice and then they average the highest and uh, that person takes home <coughs> the uh, grand prize trophy I think this is amazing. Um, I, I'm impressed that it's been going on for nine years and, and uh, it continues to draw in so many schools from around the area. Yeah, yeah, and uh, what do you think of these enthusiastic kids out here? I think it's great. This is a great way to inspire uh, these kids to study math, engineering, science, technology, uh, just to learn a little bit about what's going on in the course of space world. Yeah, the directors over the years uh, with with the Mrs. Walker really have Absolutely. 
started this from nothing and, and brought it, and all of the uh, sponsors have done a great job encouraging it. Right, yeah, we're, we're so fortunate to have uh, Jack and Marie Walker on their board yeah. to, to be so involved with something like this. It's just uh -huh. fantastic Sure, sure, sure. And this is your first time to be here as Director of Marketing for the Spaceport, right? That's correct, yeah. This is, this is uh, my first uh, Intermediate Space Challenge event. Uh -huh. Pretty exciting. Good, no good. No we can get this many kids out here all at once. Uh-huh. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, Mr. Witt, what do you think of these enthusiastic kids out here this morning? It makes it worth getting up in the morning. Yeah, doesn't it? It really does. You know, I, every year we... Uh, we look forward to this, and uh, every year it gets a little bit better, and a little bit, a uh, little bit grander, and the weather even gets better in oh, these passing years. We're so. going to credit you with the weather. Yeah, this, yeah, I'll, yeah. Take, I'll take full credit for the weather. That's a good one. <laughs> but I think this is the most schools we've ever had for this. Uh, somebody's going to have to enlighten me. It looks like a pretty good crowd. How many yeah. schools do we have here? Thirty-five schools, I think. Really? Somebody said that. Yeah. Really? I believe that's it. Or thirty-five classes. Could be. Could be. Classes. Yeah, could be, could be. Yeah, but look at this, look at this. Yeah, and then some spin-off events up in Tehachapi is going to yeah. have their own. And Yeah, well, you know, they say good <laughs> ideas have their own momentum. True enough. All started here. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for your comments thanks this morning. Thanks for coming out. You bet. Right now. 
now. Okay, third place, sixth grade. That's better. Goes to Mahoney Elementary Schools. Team number six, the Little Devils. Miss Storm's class. Then we have a, uh, a combination class. Give it a little right here. Second place goes to the Big Tomato. Team number 16. And our first place winner in the sixth grade category for excellence and banner design goes to the Team Dragons, Mrs. Stover and Mrs. Mudge class. Yes, we do. We had two first place, and the other first place went to Mahoney Elementary Schools, the astronaut starts Miss Strahan's class. And that's team number five. For our excellence in rocket integration, goes to team number 22, the California Rockets. Yay. Looks like we have a tie for first on this one. Okay, this one goes to Hacienda Elementary School, third place for rocket integration, fourth grade, team number 10, the Flaming Dragons. Thank you for yelling. Okay. And we have... Oh, four or three. Okay, we have... A
guys taking away the big the trophy. The trophy for the third time in four years. How come? Because we got it together. We got kids that really get into this and they put together a nice presentation. All you know how to build the rockets. You know how to build rockets, how to write essays, how to make banners, how to scream. Uh -huh. It's all, yeah, it's all together. <laughs> it's, all, it's all together. Uh huh. Good. All right. Well, thank you for supporting this great event. And I can see here all the years you guys have won something. Yep. Wow. 10, 11, now we got 13. And now 13. Uh huh. So you obviously have an interest. Oh, I do, yes. And yeah. I kids to sing out here too, so that's my thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, good. Well, congratulations. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yes. And what's your name? Tracy LaRosa. Uh-huh. And we're from Greg Anderson Academy in Palmdale. Uh-huh. A brand new school we opened this year. Uh-huh, yes. And uh, Greg himself, I remember in the early days, sponsored buses of kids to yes, come out here. Yes, he did. Here. In fact, well, I was on the bus that came here to look at Spaceship One. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a wonderful trip. How nice, so, how nice. Yeah, it's nice to be at a school where um, I know, you know, what it was named after. And True. He's such a great man. He was, he was. And uh, this is your class here. My class, yeah. And uh, how many uh, students did you bring out today? 31. Wow. Wow. Well, We're I think... the high-flying aviators for <laughs> aviators and classes. And this, of course, is the first time that they've participated. Yes, very first time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, great. I'm going to get in there and talk to yeah, some of them, ahead. see how they are. This is your first time coming yeah. to this fair? Yeah. And uh, how did you like it? I loved it. Yeah, me too. It was really fun. Uh huh. Did you. Especially what? Building it? Yeah. We had like teams. Uh huh. So there was a building for. There was a building team, and like an team, and then team. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, so you only built one rocket? Yeah. The whole class? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, this is really neat. So you guys are all fourth graders, right? Fifth graders? Oh, okay. Yes. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Mrs. Megan Tucker from the Palmdale Aerospace Academy, and it was our first year here at the Intermediate Rocket Challenge. Our kids had an awesome time. We loved watching the rockets take off. They got so excited when the first one went off. We were the last one, so we waited patiently for ours, and when it actually took to the skies, it was such a feeling of accomplishment for these kids. They really worked hard on these rockets, and I was glad to, to allow them to be a part of this competition. Well, Dana, you're uh, an experienced fourth grade teacher. Yes. And I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts about how this event affects your students. Well, this event, we are so grateful that this is the second year that we have been uh, invited back. Yes. And my students, they had a great time uh, designing what the rocket was going to look like, gluing it together, uh, designing the t-shirts, the banners, uh, just getting really into a, a team spirit and representing Rosamond Elementary. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of mathematics involved, a lot of uh, technical uh, work uh -huh. where they have to be very careful. They can't just slap it together. They right. really have to pay attention to details. And I think all of these concepts have really helped my students. Good, 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 good. So you'd come again if you're invited. Definitely, definitely. Uh -huh. We're hoping that we're invited next year. Every year we uh, get better, do a, a, a better job building the rocket, sure. designing um, the banners, writing the papers. It's marvelous. Sure, yeah. sure. And uh, the... Um, the thing about the Roseman uh, kids is they didn't participate for many years, but you're the one that got them to come, and today's even a non-school day, and uh, you yes. still have a pretty good turnout. Yes, I do have a, a great turnout. Again, the kids are very excited about this. They uh, have a lot of pride in their work. Yeah. Uh, they know this is important. It's fun to compete with other schools. Yeah. And so, again, hopefully next year. Uh-huh. Well, keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. Mr. Weinstein, you were saying one and one is very important, and teaching that's very important, but teaching people how to use their imagination is important too. Yeah, a lot of times we concentrate on the basics of education.
curriculum which is incredibly important. Yeah. Um, the foundations in elementary school are incredibly important. Sure. However, it's also important that not only let TV fuel our children's imagination, yeah. but for our teachers to fuel our kids' imagination sure. and let them know that one day um, we do have the ability to let people walk on the moon. It's not just a Star Trek movie. We yeah. do have the ability to fly in the air. And, and there are some really great principles and things you can learn in elementary school about rocket launching and propulsion and things like that. And that, you know, do a project like this, bring them out to the Mojave Airspace Airport and, and uh, really make sure that they understand that all this is possible so that, you know, break through those barriers that kids may have and, and you know, have them think about the great things they could be doing when they're older. Sure. Well, I think the Rosemont community is happy to have a acting superintendent who just got a raise to be able to uh, to see it look like this and, and, and promote the things that have been going on out here. Yeah, absolutely. And we're looking to do a lot more things, get the kids a lot more involved. One of the great things about being financially stable in, in our school district yeah. is that some of the things we add on, whether it's the high school, the junior high, or the elementary schools, we can start doing more things like this and start getting the kids involved in more activities like this that go beyond just the classroom. Sure, sure, sure. Well, we ought to change the sign in Roseman, we ought to say Roseman, gateway to Kern County and space. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> One day. You never okay. know. Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, can I have your name, sir? For? My name is Chris Crawford. I'm the facilities engineer for Eagle Tech Corporation and, in Mojave and in Lancaster. And uh, you guys, uh, your firm, helped sponsor this great event today. Yes, we did. Yes, we sponsored a class from Greg Anderson School. Uh -huh. I'm real proud of them. They've done really well. Uh huh. Yeah, for sure. And, and the kids are so excited, doesn't, don't they oh, see? Yeah. yeah, this is a great turnout. All the kids are having a great time. Uh -huh. uh, the rockets are launching up very high. They did a real great job with the rockets and the banners. Right. So proud of all the kids. And you're, Mr. Rush, uh, you're representing the supervisor, Kern County Supervisor Zach Schribner today. Who, he usually comes out. Is this the first time you've come? Yes, this is my first time here. And what's your uh, impression? I think this is great. The kids are enjoying themselves. I really wish this was something I got to do when I was growing up. Uh -huh. I just think this is great for the kids to get out of the classroom and, and see their work in action yeah. and uh, enjoy themselves while, while learning something very great and important. And you're from Tehachapi, and I understand there's going to be a Tehachapi event like yeah. this. Next week, Tehachapi Airport is having an intermediate space challenge, and I think it's going to go great. Uh, people, members of the Mojave Air and Space Board, yes. to provide them names of top students, top in terms of mathematics and their desire to go into engineering. Right. And We'd like to bring them over to Mojave for a week and train them right. and through simulations, uh, teach them about the industries that are on, on board at the airport and uh, some classroom instruction to kind of, you know, introduce them to a, a world of aeronautical engineering. Yeah. And we've got uh, more than enough names. We had to trim it down to three names and two alternates. And, you know, literally, we've got dozens of kids that would fit the bill. Sure. We'd love that kind of an opportunity. So for sure. us, it's tremendous. And I believe they've reached out to, to Hatchaby, Rosamond, uh, Desert. Desert. All yeah. the local communities uh -huh. say, give us your best and let's have, let us have them for a week yeah. to see if we can't uh, mold them into something that, yeah. uh, for the future. Yeah. So Dr. Really Peterson exciting. announced that at the Spaceport public meeting and it really sounded like a good idea. Very exciting. Yeah. So we've got our names in the hat. Hopefully. You're looking forward to it. Yeah, we good. wanted juniors, not seniors. Uh, they were good ones. Uh, I think they're flexible, but they really want to focus on next year's senior class. Sure. We can do so much more if it's as earlier in the school year with field trips and awards and, and programs. Congratulations, Marie. Thank you. Thank you. Another successful year. Nine down. I don't know. 50 more to go. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. However long the good And uh, the most here. classes ever. Yes, actually last year we had 30, it was a little too much. So this year we uh, capped it at 26. 26. 26 with four visiting schools. Okay, but but uh, Tehachapi is going to have a spin-off. Right, Tehachapi's in their fourth year. Yeah. Or not. So on May 22nd they'll be holding theirs, so and Edwards Air Force Base is holding their first annual. Yeah, first annual, yes, yeah. Yes, so. yes.
Split off. Well, congratulations. You've pioneered this from the ground up. Well, I can't say enough about Roseman News. You guys have helped us with the coverage that because of that, some, people are finding out about it. Some and that's the came. Big, getting the getting the word out. Uh -huh. So we did get some big school districts coming by today. We had some VIPs, uh -huh. some directors of programs, special programs, oh, good. principals from other schools. Good. So it's definitely getting looked at. Our goal is this summer, yes. working with some volunteers, right. putting together the curriculum, and then hitting the road on our road show to uh, promote it Great. Uh, next year and see if we can help us. Uh, Great. I think there were a few like Aguadulce and Acton, Lake LA, they were right on the fence and yeah. And a little That's bit right. of more urging, they would be here too. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Hurry up, get their name on the list. They might make it next year. <laughs> and, and where else in the United States can a go school district go to a spaceport yes. and fire a rocket? Yeah. No. I don't know of any programs like this no. that start at fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, which are the formative years for introducing math, engineering, and science and sure. teaching the kids that math can be fun. It's, you know, it doesn't have to be hard all the time. I mean, right. It can be fun. And these right. kids just told us today they love learning math this way. I went over to Greg Anderson's two classes that were there. Those kids were so excited. I interviewed them and their teachers. Yes. And I remember back when Greg himself funded the buses that brought all the kids here for the, yes, for, the X for the X Prize. Which is what this whole thing is modeled off of. That, that's why we have the two launches. Sure. Because Scaled Composites had to fly Spaceship One twice. Right. Within a week. So we do it within a two hour time. Right, frame. right, right. <laughs> well, congratulations yeah. again thank, for thank a great so successful much. event. Thank you. Thank yeah. you.